guys welcome back to the channel so today we at west lake aquatics in davenport iowa and as you see this fish store sits in like a storage unit area and inside of here he has 200 plus tanks of amazing fish so we're gonna go in here and i'm gonna give you guys a nice little tour of this place he just recently updated it and added a bunch of lights on to his aquarium so as you can see everything is looking nice and lit up up in here looking really good actually we'll just start over here at this rack system and take a look at all the fish in here so it's probably gonna be a little longer video so just bear with me so in this tank we got some bleeding heart tetras these guys are really nice some nice tetras here like we got some white skirt tetras And some type of like little algae here, panda garas. Looking really nice. Yeah, like we got some glass blood fin textures. Never seen these guys before. A little different. He got this tank over here. He's not selling anything. Now this tank looks like he got some bristle nose in there breeding. And there's some awesome uh, guppies in here as well. You can see those guppies. Beautiful colors on those guys. Beautiful strand of guppies. Let's see what else he got going on. All right, we got some African claw frogs in here. These guys are mean and nasty too. Yeah, we got some neon tetras and some quarries, some skunk quarries. Nice selection as well. Look like up here, we got some fire mouths. Say there's some Oaxaca puffer in here, but I don't see it. Got some rasboras. It looks like we got some Congo tetras. Can never go wrong with Congo tetras. We got a really good deal on those too as well. Yeah, there's so many tanks in here. You can spend a lot of time. So we'll start in this tank. Like in here we got some panda guppies. This is kind of like more of his nano stuff over here. He has a lot of bigger exotic fish as well. Some nice platies. Can never go wrong. Got some cherry barbs, long fan cherry barbs. Never seen that before. Got some honey garamis. Those guys are looking nice. Got some pineapple sore tails. It's different. Never seen these as well. Some shrimp tanks. See a few little shrimp hiding up on top of that sponge filter back there. Some blue rally shrimp. Like he has some sun kissed shrimp up in here. Oh, you can see a nice little green phantom pleco back there. Looking nice too. One of my favorites, the shardies. Beautiful fish, very peaceful. It's got some rummy nose plecos and some glass fish. Those are unique. Very different. Got 
some dwarf Mexican crayfish. Those would be nice to have like in a little nano tank or something. So small you can barely focus on. Got some nice cabenses up here. They like some regular cabenses. Some balloon platies. I'm loving the lights in here. It gives it like a nice little vibe. So you got tons of hard goods, driftwood, pleco caves, like literally anything you would want. You see over here, you got more driftwood, tons of stuff that you would need to escape your aquariums. We'll head over here, look at this rack system over here. These are some uh, interesting fish. Never seen these before. Very unique. Looks like it could be some type of live bear. You even got bettas in here for all you female betta lovers. A lot of nice colors. More mollies. And these guys over here are pretty cool. These are uh, spotted Congo tetras. I mean puffers. These guys are pretty interesting. Pretty cool puffer. Ooh, these guys up here look good. These some German gold rams. Super dope. We'll hit this rack here in a second. This has a lot of bigger fish, exotic stuff, discus, and things like that. But I want to hit this little section here, and then we'll head over to the other section. All right, we got some gold head calvis cichlids. These guys are beautiful once they get bigger. These are definitely one of my favorite fish. Filamente barbs. They have a lot of personality to like a planet aquarium or just any community tank. Super awesome. Right, we got some inler guppies. See some assorted inlers. Nothing too crazy. Got a nice little goldfish tank up here. Got a nice goldfish tank. We got some white fin tetras down here. They looking good too. Just got some polar blue parrots up in here. Look like some rosy barbs in this tank. Another nice little fish to have in like a community tank. Got some brass boars. These guys look good in this tank. They look real good. Then like some type of gold neon bar. They look really good as well. Right, we got some emerald quarries up in here. Some type of tetra, I'm not 100% sure. I love these fish as well, man. These rose lines, another awesome fish to have in a planet aquarium. Nice little schooling fish. Got some blue tetras.
looking good. Look at the little dark crayfish. <laughs> what is these guys right here? A pyar. Wow, he got some pyars up in here. Wow. Vampire Tetra. These guys have some really big teeth once they get bigger. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to look into getting one of those. I think that'd be super dope to have in an aquarium. All right, so we're gonna look at this system over here. I'm already seeing a marble gar up here. And that look nice. A nice tank with some wild discs. Definitely love the wild discs. Beautiful. Super beautiful. Got a nice tank of some angels. Locally bred angels. They're looking nice and healthy. Got some large African cichlids, some nice old bees, like some Johannes, possibly. We got some little Pecos cat, some type of cat up in there. Got an awesome tank. We even got some more discus up here, some medium sized discus. good as well these might be my favorite fish in this store it's probably because I've been wanting to get some of these for a very long time and just haven't had the opportunity to but these multis I love the multis just a really awesome fish and like we got some trophies down here another Amazing fish to have in like a community style tank with other Lake Tanganyikans. I think that'd be super dope. Right, we got some long fan Oscars over here. Some type of cat. Blue channel cats. Not a fan of the long fan Oscars, but they still a nice fish though. It's a nice little Amazon tank right here with the Geo Vegas. Look how big these quarries are. These things are huge. Especially this one right here. That bad boy is massive. But I'm not exactly sure what type of geos they are, but definitely a nice little species. This is another fish that I would love to have in my fish room is these uh, red hook silver dollars. I think they are awesome. It'd be a nice to have a bunch of them in a tank. And we got some more discus right here. Nice selection. Jag Jaguar catfish. Never seen these guys before. Let me focus in. Pretty unique. Never seen those before. It's one thing I like about Alex. He does try to get stuff in that you just don't see. Got another species of trophies, the red mori. Nice little species. Got some more regular assorted African, I mean Oscars. That one got some really awesome patterns on him. Some dope patterns. Got some tinfoil barbs. Beautiful. 
A nice take on some brevises. Another awesome Shelly. Multi is still my favorite, but these guys are awesome as well. You got some clown knives up here. Some good price on some small clowns. Can't go wrong. Oh, you got some big assorted mollies. Nice and big too. Some blue cars. Really awesome fish as well. Hey, what's going on? I like your channel. Oh, you watch it? Yep. What's your name? Andy. Andy, nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. You're going to be on the channel now. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised to find a local. Boys. Yeah. So, I like your room. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. That's why I'm out here now filming here, getting a nice little tour of Alex stuff. We stay around. After I'm done, we can chop it up. But yeah, we got some nice little cars in here. Looking really good. We got some dwarf gouramis. Dwarf blue gouramis. Ain't no giant gourami. Oh, this guy right here. Mean and nasty, but very awesome. African cichlid. Ooh, we got a nice Florida gar up here. I might have to pick that up for the pond. Super dope. Got another selection of betters. Oh, this one got some really crazy colors on it. That green. That one look good too. All right, so let's keep going. Still more and more tanks to go through. Why well, we got some uh Torquoise rainbows. Oh, look at that pleco back there. Wow. Beautiful. Blue phantoms. Awesome pleco. Oh, you got some more down here. Some nice big green phantoms. Beautiful. Got to, got to have a glowfish, I guess. <laughs> Not a fan, but they, they definitely do be looking good. Man, ain't gonna cap. Oh, we got a nice little mix of some Millennium Rainbows down here. Beautiful. I got a whole nother rack system to go through. Oh, we got a bunch of like mixed quarries in here. Some bronze quarries, some plecos. Here we got some green severums. Nice little severums. Here you got some albino quarries. And he has a really awesome selection of fish. Like anything that you guys will want, it, he has it here. Ain't no doubt about it. Got some bashars. Really nice bishers. Got some assorted African like some Kenyans in there. Maybe like a red zebras. Look at all these coolie loaches. Hundreds of them in there. I feel like there's another species of loach in there as well. Got some tetras in this tank, some glow lights, and look like some like hatchets.
keep moving, see what else. Got some guppies. Some albino long fan cores. So as you see, he got like a lot of common stuff and a lot of stuff that you just don't see every day. Got some nice exodons. This is where I got my exodons from. Really good price on them too. $7.99. Highly suggest these fish for anybody that want to have a nice school of fish. I highly suggest them. All right, let's check out this rack system over here. All right, we got some electric blue cars in here. They're looking great. Definitely one of my faves. Oh, he has some nice plants in here. He has a really um, good selection of plants price-wise. Oh, he got them, uh, I think it's called bull heads or buffalo heads, cichlids. Those are kind of pretty rare. They're kind of hard to get. Definitely got to order those, but they are awesome. Cichlid. And I believe they are a rock layer. Could be wrong, but I think they're a rock layer. Here we got some snakeskin gouramis. Never seen these guys before. Some nice snakeskin gouramis. And there's some type of like, like some type of loach, skunk loach. Different. That's my vinyl tiger barbs. Some regular tiger barbs, some green tiger barbs. Mean and nasty. We got some diamond catchers. Definitely want to get some of these one day because once they get bigger, they really show really well in the aquarium. They got like some chocolate plecos in here. Oh, these guys are dope over here to these gold killie fish. I haven't gotten into the whole killie fish, but I definitely want to get into the killies because I find them very interesting. I know there's tons of different species out there. Well, we got some type of like small type of cat. Type of Cynodonis type of cat. Nice. Got another tank down here. It's packed with plants. See the pricing on it. Really good pricing. Same with this tank over here. Look at all these crypts. I need to buy all these crypts down here. Tons of plants. I think the pot of plants going for $5.99 a piece. Really can't beat that. It's a really good price, actually. I well, got some red, some baby red belly piranhas. I need about 10 of them. We got some angels up here. Looking good. Still got some green terrors up in here. True green terrors. Still got that arowana. I'm still in there. I might have to come get it. I lost mine. Really? Did you jump out? Nah, he just, I lost power for like seven hours. Came home, he was floating. Oh, I see. Yeah. J4 was supposed to be sending me a Jardini, so I might wait. Yeah. That's all I got on the table. Huh? I saw the whole tank yeah, I was like, man, send me one. He's like, all right, do an unboxing. I send it, <laughs> but he haven't sent it yet. Really? Look at this dragon puffer. Mean and nasty, huh? My oxalated puffer I got from you, mean and nasty. <laughs> I love him though, but he mean and nasty. Yet? Nah, he ain't bit me yet. I got bit two or three times. Yeah. They never draw blood, but you always know when you get bit. 
he didn't took out he took out some tetras i tried to put with him i thought it might work at some dithers i got him in with some geos some hecalize and he ain't messing with the hecalize but you know they kind of come from the same waters you know but the tetras nah it, it's snack he knocked them off so fast there wasn't no remedies left of them i'm like dang man then we got some nice peacocks in here the light's looking good on the tanks though you keep it kind of dim like this for the most part throughout the day. Well, we're not working in here yet, especially in the deep too. Uh, yeah, it's more, yeah, it's more like cooler in here. Yeah, got some nice feeders. Black ghost knife. I still want to give me some of these. They get pretty big, don't they? Eighteen inches, but they're eighteen inches. Yeah, that's what I need. Yeah, I think they dope. Just never took the time to get one yet. That's some assorted Africans. Yeah, I might have to come and get that arrow, man, because pond missing something right now. It needs some swimming. That's a nice tank of some peacocks. These guys is colored up. What those like the blood? What is those? Uh, so we got uh, Avon Dragon Blood. Yeah, the Dragon Bloods, yeah. I gotta get me a pe peacock tank going, man. All things are driving out peacock tank. Yeah, I don't have a peacock. <laughs> you know what? I've never been into peacocks okay. because I, I don't. I hate the fact that the females look ugly. Yeah, they're. Ugly. You know, so you know, and I'm more into the breeding side of things. So that's why I always stick with like the mabunas. But I do want to get a because I went to did a guy yesterday tour his spot, and he had a uh, all peacock male tank and haps. Oh. Like that shit looks so good. Oh, is that Ryan? Yeah, Ryan. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think yeah. all those fish came from me, Mike. Really? Probably. Probably. I, I would suspect. Yeah. I know he had some. He had them uh, koi uh, sword tails too. I'm like, yeah. yeah I, I know you got them from here. Yeah, his hat tank was dope, man. I'm like, dang. The colors that was up that he had was it some Bolivian rams? So when the next swap? September 20th. Take the summers off. Are oh, you is? Yeah. Uh, nobody shows up in summer. <laughs> yeah, summertime kind of slow for the fish hobby. But yeah, if you guys want to come check out the Quad City swap, the next one is September 25th. Here's all the information. Come check it out. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, the tour, you guys pretty much got to see a lot of the tanks. Just wanted to come out here and show Alex store, as always. Give him some support. And hopefully guys local will come through and check out some fish and buy some fish he added these new lights to it because there used to be no lights in here he used to have like the main lights inside the storage unit but now he has tons of lights in here and it makes the tanks pop makes them look a lot better so that's gonna be pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this style of content make sure you hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and uh turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i drop more videos